have been burning a Glade candle. That is one of the cozy autumn cuddle scents I stocked up on around the fall time, and I'm really glad I did. It's my last one, and it is, it's, it's a great scent. It's kind of like a pumpkin pie undertone with like hints of little leaves dancing around. Uh, the weather is miserable outside still. I just poured my uh, Bialetti Espresso, the Bastillo, uh, into Totoro with a teaspoon of the Four Sigmatic Superfoods blends. I'm almost out of this. This is a 10 mushroom blend with, I believe this one has uh, Chaga, Rishi, Lion's Mane. This has got all of them in there. And there's my water blend. It's a little late start that I'm having this morning because I had a terrible night last night. I made the mistake of reading this post on, I think it was Reddit. It was posted by, I'm gonna say, the person claimed to be like a police officer or a former police officer. Sa practical safety tips. It was like a long list of safety tips for it's kind of geared towards women, but um, just people in general. And the tips are really good. The start of the, the list was like really useful information. But then as the list progressed, the tips got darker and darker. And there was this one tip towards the bottom. It was, it was like a story about how never go... Okay, like apparently there's something where like a serial killer will lure you out of your home by placing a tape recorder with the sound of a baby like crying and, and place it like under your window. So it sounds like there's a child outside or a baby and you go outside because you hear, you're like worried like why is there a baby outside and then they get you. I read that and I couldn't sleep all night. I was so terrified. There was that, and then the other thing that the serial killer, stalker, crazy people do before they <laughs> is they play sounds of running water. So it sounds, or they turn on all of your, they turn on all of your like hoses and sprinklers and stuff. So it sounds like there's a pro like water is leaking or there's a water main break and uh, you go outside and then they come into your house and burglarize your house. I could not sleep all night. I couldn't even put my, I couldn't even put my humidifier on because the, the sound of a the humidifier it usually soothes me to sleep. But I was just like, no, I can't hear any kind of, any kind of hint of running water. I'd be terrified all night. Oh my gosh, that was a horrible thing to read right before going to bed. Not, not smart. So I'm hydrating here with a little natural calm in an effort to, in an effort to kind of recuperate and poor Siggy's gonna save me. But uh, last night, you guys know I only wash my face once a day, take my water resistant sunscreen and mascara off. I started the back on the Maybelline Colossal. Um, but I finished up the um, Your Good Skin Green Tea Cleanser. But I've really, I've really been liking that. It's kind of a gel cleanser. So that's another little empty that will make an appearance in the empties video. You guys are getting all the empties in advance. All these, all this advanced insight into all the stuff that I'm using up. But yeah, that, that was my night last night. Finishing up a cleanser and terrifying myself into not sleeping. Yeah, I I don't like stuff like that. It, it, it creeps me out. Like the um, like John Walsh and our um, Unsolved Mysteries. Oh, I can't watch stuff like that. It freaks me out. I'm not afraid of like paranormal stuff whatsoever. I have no like, uh, you know, some people are really into paranormal stuff and it can kind of freak them out. I'm like, whatever. Hey, ghost, what's up? Um, but I mean, I shouldn't say that. I'm probably gonna jinx myself or something. But when it comes to like real life murders, kidnappings, burglaries, that kind of thing, oh, I'm so paranoid. And it like freaks me out. Um, and then apparently there's this thing in Houston, uh, the white van scam that happens. 
a fair amount or like something with a white van that will pull up next to you and tell you that your car wheel is like you have a flat tire and they'll try and fix it and then they'll like mess up your car and distract you and like get in the car and steal your purse or something. It's like some kind of scam, like circle of scammers. And I keep reading these little white van scam stories of people in Houston and different different areas. Like I got scammed by a white van today. This is what happened. And they'll like get it on tape. I'm just like, oh my god, like I've got to, I've got to get off of off of Reddit. It's Reddit. It's just like all of these, all of those kind of like fear, fear, fear mongering stories. I mean, it's important to be aware of your surroundings and cognizant of safety and not like be a doofus. Um, but my gosh, I, I really worked myself up into, into a dither last night. So yeah, speaking of dither, um, I, uh, my mom and I, it's not really, what am I even saying? Um, I, uh, I need, I'm in the market for some new spring outfits. I don't know. I've just kind of been in the mood for some new clothes lately. It's been a long time since I've gotten any new clothing and I'm just kind of sick of, some of my old staples that I wear over and over and over and over and over again. And so my mom and I are gonna go to, oh, gas the mall today. So I wish us luck on that, but that's what's going on. Ooh, pretty jewelry. <laughs> We're here in, I think it's Macy's. English breakfast tea. Well, those are cute. That's cute. Yeah, the little scallops. I just think that's such a nice little touch. Yeah, they look like they'd be comfortable. They have bongo have... beige color too. Yeah. Yeah, those are nice. Sure. They um, do they have uh, troll beads here? I don't know, but they do have Pandora. I really like those. All right, so I'm here in Nordstrom and I got a fair number of things to try on. Hopefully I find something. But where I'm going is rather cold. Not rather cold, but definitely a lot colder than here. So I kind of need to plan for that. I like this music. All right, focus. All right, so this is the Salute Hannah dress by Rag and Bone. Um, it actually, it's very loose fitting. Um, it's very lightweight. It's actually one of these kind of things that in the heat of the summer here would be very comfortable to wear. Uh, it's very breezy. Um, it's kind of got some extra, extra paneling in here to make it a little loosey goosey. Kind of Sailor Moon vibe. Fighting evil by moonlight. I love this dress. It's from Topshop. It's this little green green thing. It's got the cute little you can see. It's got cute little gold buttons. And a little button up here. It fits me really well. Except this is going to drive me berserk. And that is. I cannot close the zipper. It completely fits um, fine. It's just so sticky. I can't, I mean, obviously I can't do it one handed here, but I cannot get this zipper to budge. Like it won't go over, it won't go over this. And they're like a lot of little strings. So it's kind of, it's kind of not the best construction, but it's so cute. It fits me really well, but this is going to drive me berserk. All right, this one's this one's pretty cute. All right, so this little blue top is okay. I think I'll probably ditch it. Actually, it's a pretty color. I'm disappointed in these pants, though. They are Vince Camuto. I thought they might fit. They're on sale. They're a really good price, but they're like too long, saggy, baggy. Um, so I don't. I think those are a no-go for sure. Bummer. Okay, ignore the shirt. I'm still wearing it. But these are the Not Your Daughter's Jeans jeans. Um, they actually fit. I don't know that I necessarily love the jeans themselves. But they have these like little... 
looks like. It looks like when you go out in the snow and you get that salt stain and stuff on your clothes. Um, they fit okay. I don't know. I just don't think they're super flattering. It's kind of the color of the jeans themselves. They're a little bunchy around the knees, but they're comfortable. All right, so I'm still wearing the same jeans, but I changed the top to this Vince Camuto green thing. I don't know how I feel about these sleeves. They're actually not too over the top as they appeared. I'm obviously not wearing the right bra for this, but um, this is kind of cute. I don't know. Very St. Patrick's Day. I actually love these pants. These are by Caslon. They're on sale. They're like little cargoes, but they're very comfortable. They're very soft. You know, you guys know me and my soft fabrics. And then this is just a little gray t-shirt. I don't know who makes this, but actually, let's take a look. 1901. It's, um, it's on sale for 17.96. It seems kind of overpriced for a gray t-shirt. I actually, the lighting in here is terrible, but I love this little purple lavender sweater it's from Caslon too. I'm liking this Caslon man. Um yeah I think I like this. This will be good for where I'm going. Alright I like these jeans better than the other two I tried on. This is cut from the cloth. They are really soft. I like these. I think I might get these. Soft. I'm really sensitive to jeans. They're too picky. We're gonna go into Jason's Deli for lunch, but they have this chocolate place and they have chocolate burgers. <laughs> They look really good. They're like chocolate with orange slices and some kind of pastry. That looks really cool. Like way better than a macaron. So we're here in Jason's Deli for lunch over by the mall. I, d I did really well. I got... I love the food. Yeah. Really cute. Yeah. I, I think you get a lot of mileage out of that. I think so too. I got... My, I did really well. I spent $225 and I got the green dress, two pairs of pants, and then that lavender sweater. That's a good, a good, a good haul of, of things. Is the sweater a, a pullover? Yeah, okay. it's really cute. You'll see the vlog footage when I'm editing. So. Okay. <laughs> what did you get? Oh, your flatbread. Yeah, those are good. Yeah, I made the mistake and picked up the cheddar one. Oh, that yeah. Um, that one, the non-cheddar that you have there? A lot of salad greens, but one thing I like about Jason's are these butter beans that they have. Oh, yeah. The fava, like beans. fava beans. Yeah, they're really good. Um, a little bit of everything. Looks good. This looks good, too. Yeah, I got um, romaine, beets, some of the spicy cashew sesame seed cracker thing. Peas, zucchini, broccoli, beets, mushrooms, baby carrots, hummus, some croutons, roasted red pepper, um, and mushrooms. Looks lovely. Tybee would be, Tybee would be sad that we're here with, he loves these carrots. <laughs> He does. He loves his carrots. He and pears. pears. Oh gosh, pears, yeah. Apple. Yeah, if you eat a pear, he has to, you have to give him a little piece. A He's a sweetie. Hey guys, we're over here in the library. I haven't been to a library in a long time since the library near, near us has been closed. I'm still reading, I'm still reading Cold Sassy Tree. It's good, but it's really slow. It's really slow reading. I like, doesn't pull you in but I really like it so it's go it's going really slowly but I'm almost finished with it um, so uh, I'm a book junkie what can I say medicinal herbs
Texas Gardener's Resource. It's getting in my head I want to start having like little container gardens mm -hmm. outside, but then I just never get around to getting into it. Guide to a healthy cat. The loved dog. All dogs should be loved. Look at this Don't one. dump the dog. That's a good one. People need to read that before they get a dog. <laughs> Look at this one. Aww. <laughs> oh, I love these little amiguri mini crochet creatures. They're really cute. I bet these come together really quickly. I'm trying to do this one handed. Oh, the little elephant. Yeah. I mentioned recently that I miss knitting, but it's one of those things that I kind of have to rein my enthusiasm in because otherwise I end up with a bunch of yarn and no, no finished projects. <laughs> Tybee! <Tybee! laughs> He's excited. You miss us? Oh boy, boy. <laughs> Hi everybody. I'm just so excited. Ready to go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Aww, I missed you. I missed you. Oh, I missed you too, Dr. Oh Dre. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's go. We'll be right back. Daddy. Daddy, what's up? <laughs> whiskey boy, whiskey boy, Ty B. <laughs> well, hey guys, we're back at my mom's house. Um, Ty B is thrilled to see us. <laughs> but I'm going to conclude the vlog here. I hope you all enjoyed it. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>